Hello again and welcome to aquaheat.org.uk. This is a little quick video on how you vent a radiator. So if you notice that you've got no heating, no water in the system and the pressure's low, you come to the boiler, you've got a Worcester Bosch boiler, and if you found that on zero, what you need to do, first of all is turn the heating off, and then you need to top up the pressure. You can see the, how to top up the pressure in my other video. And once you've topped up the pressure to here, You'll then go to the radiator, you need a vent key like this and a bit of a rag like this that goes to the radiator. So here we are. And one end has got a vent on it which is this end. This is the vent end. So you get your vent key, put your vent key in there, put it in. And we're turning it anti-clockwise which is the opposite way to the clock. I don't know, can they crack that? Get a bit of air, bubbles, get that water there, getting rid of the uh, rid of the air, and then that's it. We must stop now, and then I just close it again. Give it a little dampen off, and there we go. And that's how you vent a radiator. Now, what you crucially need to do is once you've vented a radiator is to go back to your boiler and make sure that the pressure's back up to between 1 and 1.5. This is a classic mistake people make when they vent their system, is they forget to fill up the system afterwards, and this can uh, actually damage your boiler, so you don't want to do that. Make sure you go back to the boiler, top the pressure back up, and then once it's back up to 1, then go down, go around and vent other radiators if you need to do more. Always start at the bottom of the house and work your way up to the top. That's how you vent the system, not from the top down, from the bottom up. Great, that's it. So if you want information on uh, this or any installations that we do, uh, please drop us an email to info at aquaheat.org.uk or go to our website www.aquaheat.org.uk. Thanks very much.